As much as this series insists on saying that it takes place in 1999, we arrive at March 3, 1995, when the invasion of Baranoia begins, led by Bacchus Wrath. He was a robot created in Pangaea 600 million years ago by a race called Dorin, who made a failed rebellion and was exiled into space, building his own empire with his wife Hysteria, son Bulldant and butlers Atra and Kaka. At the same time these robots appeared, there was an energy source called Chariki or Superpower, which was divided along with Pangaea between five civilizations, so currently it was necessary to recruit four members to form the Arranger Superpower Squad. In the Baranoia Return Attack, four Air Force survivors are rescued in the first episode by the Red Ranger, who are now led by the Wii Chief of Staff Miura, the same actor as the first Blue Ranger. He provides the construction of five Zords for the team, which forms the Arranger Robo in Episode 7 at April 14, and 12 episodes later on July 7 they need to master the Red Puncher, an old robot that in the development phase caused the death of your pilot. In Episode 22 from July 28 we finally see the fusion of these two Mega Zords, the Buster Arranger Robo. Four eps later, on August 25, Riki returns to Earth. The first Arranger and warrior who expelled Bacchus Wrath and was the first Arranger, King Granger. He arrives accompanied by his protected, Doran, a remnant of the Doran tribe, and his own King Pyramidor Metra, which debuts on September 8 in Episode 28. Five episodes later on October 27, the Arrangers use their new Zords to infiltrate the robots of Baranoia, to finally destroy Bacchus Wrath in Episode 34 through a blocker. To the displeasure of the royal family of Baranoia, the Radical Bomber, the Great appears to take command in the 35 from November 10, demanding of the following of the launch of the fourth Mecha of the series, the Tackle Boy. Finally, acting as a fifth Mecha but also as an extra hero or Benga hero, we have the Gun the Jin in the 37 on November 24, an ancient genius from Pangea who grants children's wishes and starts helping the Super Power Squad. In Episode 39 from December 8, Prince Bolden is destroyed by Bomber the Great, but when Christmas arrives he himself is defeated after the Widow Empress rebuilds her son and sends him alongside Princess Multiwa as new leaders of Baranoia in the 40. Five eps later on February 2, 1996, they begin the final attack destroying the Wii and killing Doran, who lifelessly cuts off the Arranger's energy source. To recover their powers, they travel to another world, the era where the Pangaea civilization was, but when they return, six months have already passed since the Earth was dominated by Baranoia. Finally on February TWNETY 3rd they exterminate Baranoia, sparing only the newborn son of Bullet and Malhiwa. With the low sales of Arranger and low audience, Super Sentai return to the slapstick strategy, they always do that when the previous series does poorly, we see that to this day. Car Ranger is pure comedy, the script is not very deep, we have the leader Gynamos Bauzak, vice leader Zelmoda, Graj, Zonet, all from an alien gang that causes chaos from planet to planet, and in favor of safe traffic on the new target, which is the Earth, the racing squad is formed whose source of power is the car magic of the little alien Dapu, which allows you to recreate your dream cars in the form of mechas that come together in the RV Robo in Episode 5 from March 29. Over the cower course of the year, some unexpected factors emerge, such as the appearance in Episode 12 from May 17, the sixth car ranger, that is Signalman, a patrolman from a planet of policemen who has his own mecha Sirender. In Episode 16 from June 14, his rival, Raichiakar, joins the scene and allies himself with the Baozoku and causes chaos in the Car Rangers RV Robo. To help the team, Dapu's father appears, the VRV Master, a kind of black racer, who presents the team and trains them with their new mechas and the newest VRV robot in Episode 31 from September 27. Skipping 15 eps, on January 24, 1997 we discovered that the person who manipulated the Bauzox in cleaning up all the planets was Exos, the final villain who wanted to build an intergalactic highway and steal the car magic from the racing squad, but when they joined forces with the old villains, 
the victory comes in episode 48 on February 7th. The following week, we kind of went back to the old-fashioned theme of space and evil science, when Dr. Sam Dima, who worked at the Inuit organization, is like the NASA of this series. He discovers another distorted dimension they called Mesoregia, ruled by the electric king Javis I, and recruits this scientist who was already full of hate when he had just lost his daughter in a project he was involved in, in which he becomes Dr. Hindler, creates two robots, Shiba Lima and Yugen, and Shiba Lima is a copy of the daughter he lost, anyway. This kingdom Majersia begins an attack to conquer our world, so Inet develops a training game that selects the best players, who are high school students, to form the electromagnetic Megaronder squad, equipped with a high-tech arsenal including a spaceship as we saw in episode 2 from February 21st at the premiere of Galaxy Mega. Skipping 18 eps, the second Zord is developed. The Mega Delta ship in a 20 from June 29 to face the Nuneza Regia commander, Jiru. They try to take control of the ship, but fail when it combines with the Galaxy Mega. When we enter episode 24 from August 3rd, we meet Uwasaku, another scientist involved in the Megaronder project, who couldn't hold back from watching the battles happening and takes a prototype that lasts two and a half minutes and starts helping them as the sixth member, the first Super Sentai Silver Ranger. On September 9th, in episode 31, Dr. Hinnler himself starts to get upset with Jiru and tricks him into believing that he is going to get a power-up, but this makes him get out of control, becoming a beast that crushes the Megarondra mechas, forcing them to search for new Zords at the Inuit base on the moon to form their Mega Voyager, which eliminates Jiru once and for all. In Ik 36 it is Mega Silver's turn to develop his own robot, Megonger on October 26. Two episodes later, the Neji Rangers make their debut, collapsing the Electromagnetic Squad on November 9, demanding that each member overcome themselves to eliminate their imposters, starting with Neji Pink who falls in Episode 40 on November 30, followed by the deceived Neji Buu by Uwasaku disguised as Neji Silver. At Christmas that year, the final three Neji Rangers steal the hero's Mega Voyager, resulting in a climactic final battle, aligning with the murder of King Javius at the hands of Dr. Hindler, forcing Neji Regia to find a new base to settle in. This base would be Hindler City, whose plans come into action in Episode 49 of February 1, 1998 when the secret identity of the Mega Rangers is exposed to the entire school, which expel them for only bringing danger. Furthermore, Yugend and Shiba Lima carry out a final attack in which they end up dying, although they manage to destroy the Inuit base on the moon. With only Dr. Himmler left, who took on a monstrous form when using the powers of his late leader, the Megarangers sacrifice themselves to put an end to the Niji Regia, but on February 15, the day of the school's graduation, they appear alive and has a happy ending. It's my friends, we're finally almost at the turn of the century, see you in the next video, Jenna.